Hello again, everyone. It's Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here to give you another update on what is happening with the lumber market and lumber prices across North America. Just last week, uh, U.S. housing sales and home prices came out. A lot of that data is up, which is not normal. Usually in January, it's a very slow time of the year, but it's not normal in a lot of ways for almost everything in uh, economic data um, since last year. Anyway, so, so we have, compared to one year ago, uh, for February 2021 compared to February 2020, a 133% increase in the price of the benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir uh, Kiln Dried two by four, number two, and better price. Um, that's the item that's uh, manufactured and sold um, by the largest volume uh, coming out of the um, large sawmills in British Columbia, also a little bit in Alberta, Washington State, and Oregon. Uh, so we printed, uh, Madison's Lumber Reporter printed on uh, this benchmark item, WSPF two by four, $1,040 US per thousand board feet on Friday. Uh, the week before, um, pretty astonishing, was $1,012 US per thousand board feet. These are um, price levels that have never been seen before and are supported by this very hot uh, housing activity in Canada, but also in the US. Um, Canadian uh, economic uh, data and uh, housing specifically is approximately 10% of what it is in the U.S. And Canadian sawmills produce far more lumber uh, than uh, can be used within Canada. While the U.S. Uh, does not have enough uh, lumber production to support its own housing activity and so uh, must import and uh, that works very well between the Canadian uh, forest industry and the U.S. real estate industry. So let's just have a look at specifically some of the data and the trend uh, compared to the past and maybe provide a little bit of indication of what's going to happen through this year. Uh, really, all we can say is um, this momentum that we're in is not going to slow down. Uh, prices might not, uh, lumber prices might not get too much higher than they are right now because it's already a little bit uh, unsupportable. Uh, we're hearing now this, uh, this week and last week that uh, several builders, a lot of contractors are delaying jobs uh, just because the price is so high. Um, and there are replacement materials. Um, however, if uh, the building activity continues, um, those other replacement materials are also going to increase in price. And from what we saw last year and at the very beginning of this year, the cost of this increase in building material is being passed on to the end user, whether you go to a retailer, a big box store, a lumber yard, or you are a builder or a uh, large uh, contractor, the price is being passed on to the home buyer and there is no slowing down. So it's uh, February right now, uh, February prices right now, and um, the normal purchases by these uh, large customers for lumber for spring has already taken place. And so normally we would not be expecting to see prices increasing over like between March, April, and May. But like I said, it's not a normal time, and so only time will tell. So let's have a look to see what prices are at now uh, compared to one year ago and compared to two years ago. The largest volume uh, produced and consumed softwood lumber item across North America, Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4. This is used for framing out houses. There are some other purposes, but the housing is the main one. The pink line is this year, 2021, so much higher than anything ever seen in the past, except for August and September of 2020, when it reached highs never before seen and most unusual in history. So this week, prices for the benchmark softwood lumber and panel published on Friday 
shows uh, quite a change from the week before and from one month ago. The bottom price there, plywood, it's a very good indicator uh, of what will happen as that uh, price change leads the Dimension Lumber, the top three Western Spruce, Southern Pine, and Eastern Spruce. And the same prices uh, that you saw in the previous chart uh, from January 2019 to the present. The soft gray line that's uh, scraping along the bottom in January to April of uh, 2020 is now cresting up higher than all of the other items, which does, since that is the plywood price I was talking about, this suggests that those dimension lumber prices might also follow upward in the coming weeks. So as you can see, these are some pretty crazy lumber price increases um, compared to history. And uh, it's unknown right now if this is a fundamental shift. Um, the supply demand balance is expected to remain uh, quite strong on the demand side through this year, 2021. And a lot of people are saying also through next year, 2022. Um, there is beginning to be some significant amount of activity in uh, uh, sawmill asset purchases, uh, potential uh, consolidation between some of the larger companies, um, mills starting back up, uh, mills that have been mothballed for a very long time being retrofitted to produce uh, perhaps vi higher value products remanufactured. Um, so we'll see what happens with the supply side. Definitely more wood is going to be coming online, uh, but it takes a while. It's not like you can just start up a mill in a week or a month. Uh, there's issues of where is your log supply going to come from? Is there transportation nearby? Are you close to a railway in Canada? Uh, in the U.S., uh, at least if there's a highway, that's helpful. So um, it's just uh, the first week of March and lots of uh, situation to happen even just over the next couple of months, but through the next uh, rest of this year. Uh, check back with us uh, at the website, www.madisonsreport.com for my weekly uh, table that I post. And uh, we'll be making more uh, videos um, about um, the U.S. housing uh, situation um, over this month and uh, catching on to that data uh, as soon as it comes out to provide uh, on-time updates to um, viewers. And if you want to have the full set of um, 450 individual lumber and panel prices, uh, not just the six um, benchmark items that I post, then uh, subscribe and you will see uh, lumber prices uh, first thing Friday morning, rather than having to wait the following week um, uh, when it comes out on the website. So thanks and check back.